Marina! What? Were you listening? What? Were you listening? No. Okay, because I can't remember if I said press player playlist. Just redo it! I know! <laughs> Dang it! It's Taylor. So guys, I'm currently filming in my bathroom right now um, because uh, I haven't really done anything today and um, I've been procrastinating filming videos even though I said I was going to film a bunch of videos. Um, but yeah, so I am in my bathroom because it's the only good source of lighting that I have. Hashtag poor YouTuber problems. You can't afford good lighting. So anyway guys, um, as you can see, I'm in my all Disney attire. So guys, if you did not know or are new to my channel, I attended my first ever playlist live last weekend and I had such an incredible experience and I'm just kind of going to go through all of what happened during the weekend and how much fun I had and just kind of give you the gist on how playlist live went. If you guys did not know, I actually vlogged all three days while I was there and I those are all live right now, so I will link all those down below so make sure to go watch my playlist live vlogs right after you watch this. But a few weekends ago I actually gave you the whole gist of like my schedule um, that was going to be happening while I was at playlist live, so I thought I would just kind of let you know how all of that went and all that kind of fun stuff because I cannot stop thinking about playlist live. It was so much fun, it was so magical and let's just jump into the video guys. So guys, like I said, this was my first ever playlist live that I attended, and let me tell you, it was so, so, so much fun. So to start it off, I flew to Orlando in the afternoon. Um, it was the first time I ever flew by myself, um, and I did, it was actually a lot easier than I thought. I was so scared, I thought I was going to get on the wrong plane, I was going to end up not in Orlando, but I ended up in Orlando and it was so much fun. But yeah, so I arrived in Orlando around 7ish and then I met Katie at uh, the airport. She picked me up and it was so, I was just, I, that was the one thing I was super excited about. Um, I was meeting my friend Katie, Emily and Christine down there, but I was super excited because Christine and Emily I haven't seen since August and Katie I haven't seen since January and I hadn't seen them in such a long time so to be able to see them that weekend and spend this whole entire experience with them was just so much fun and I honestly can't even like think of anybody else I'd want to spend playlist live with than those three girls. But yeah, Katie picked me up at the airport. Um, hugs galore. I didn't actually get it on film. I did get it on my Snapchat, but it was just so much fun. I had missed her. She was one of my best friends and oh my god, I was so happy to see her. But so she picked me up at the airport and then we actually went straight to uh, the Marriott, which was where Playlist Live was happening. And we checked in and I got, I got my badge, guys. Like, I honestly, this was the one thing I was so, so, so stoked to get for while at Playlist Live. You can't even believe, like, this, this piece of paper in this thing of plastic was the one thing I was, like, super looking forward to getting. But as you can see, guys, I have my name and then I have my YouTube channel on it and it was just... I was so excited. So I registered. So when I registered, I got my badge as well as I got my two wristbands for my meetups that I was going to, as well as then I got a tie string bag that just said like playlist live on it. It's in my room. That requires me getting up off the floor and leaving the bathroom. So it was just a regular black drawstring bag that said playlist live. Nothing too elaborate. Um, but it did have a few things like some. There was a Ricky Dillon tattoo, there were just like a bunch of like things that were happening on that weekend and just the whole list of stuff and then a few other little goodies so that was what I got at registration. Christine and Emily were at the Dan and Phil show so Katie and I kind of just like sat outside there for a little bit but after they got out of there um, we met and more hugging was going on and it was just super exciting A because I was seeing them and plus they were just coming out of the Dan and Phil show so there was just like excitement, excitement, excitement just everywhere. Also on Friday they had the District Lions store kind of up like the smaller store they had a huge one inside but they had the smaller like District Lions shop out so um, while I was there I got I got this playlist live shirt um, I wanted it so bad I don't know I've kind of become in love with like the whole like tie-dye thing there was also a crew neck sweatshirt that I really wanted um, but I went on Sunday to go buy it and it was all sold out, but I'm super excited because I checked online and they had it, so I just bought it, so that's getting shipped to me and I think like the next week or so, so I'm super, super excited for that because you know how much I love my sweatshirts. But yeah, so once we met up with Christine and Emily, we went to Downtown Disney, which is now called Disney Springs, but I'm going to be calling it Downtown Disney because that's kind of what I've grown up calling it. So 
deal with it, people. But yeah, so we went to Downtown Disney and grabbed some dinner because I was starving. And then we went to Earl of Sandwiches, San something. It, it was a sandwich place in Downtown Disney. So that's where we went. And then we went to Christine's apartment because that is where we were staying for the weekend. Thank you, Christine, for letting us stay at your apartment. You don't know how much that saved me money. I, to be honest, people, I spent very little money on this trip. Like, I'm honestly really, really shocked. Really shocked. But yeah, so we drove to Christine's apartment. Also, Christine has a cat. And I'm pretty sure that cat like loves me because I, I woke up throughout the night, <laughs> throughout the whole entire weekend and that cat was always right by me and I'm just like, cat! So we stayed at Christine's apartment and that was kind of our Friday night. Nothing too major happened that night um, instead of me just flying into Orlando, picking up my badge, getting to see all my friends again, um, and then heading to Christine's apartment. But then again, we didn't actually get to bed till like 2 o'clock in the morning that night. So, so then Saturday came along and it was the first official day of Playlist Live and words could not even begin to describe how excited I was. So we all woke up around 7 with the plan to leave at 8 and so we all got ready and then we left Christine's apartment at 8. We picked up some breakfast at Dunkin Donuts and then headed to the Marriott and let me tell you, because it was our first Playlist Live, we had no like idea how bad the parking was and like what to expect and so... We, we were sitting in this long line of cars and we finally got up to security and they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to go park in the overflow lot, which was like a good five minutes from where the Marriott was, which we had no idea what that was going on. So that was kind of hectic, especially because we were kind of like running late because we also had to pick up another one of Emily's friends. So my meetup was gonna start like in 10 minutes. So they were nice enough to drop me, Katie, and then Luann, who was Emily's other friend, off because Luann had not registered yet and checked in. So Katie and Luann went to go check in. And then I went to go get in line for my first meetup, which on Saturday I met Ingrid Nelson. And oh my God, guys, she is one of the nicest people ever. I cannot even explain how nice she was. She was so cute. If you did not see my vlog, I actually got her in my vlog, which was so cool and like, the thing I love about Playlist Live was obviously it was my first time and I've heard before like the whole signing up for meetup things is kind of new because you used to kind of just like get in line if you wanted to meet them and it was just hectic. I think they put a great amount of people in each meetup. It wasn't too many, it wasn't too little and I was just so happy because the security there was super cool and they let us have like as much time or as little time as they wanted with each like person there and it was just so much fun and can you tell I had such a great time? But yeah, so I met Ingrid on Saturday and I went up and I talked to her and she was so nice and I was like can you be in my vlog and she's like of course I could be in your vlog and it was just so much fun like it was just so much fun so then after the meetup um, I met up with Christine Katie and Emily and Luann and we went to the Invisalign stage where SDK was performing more like it was just Joey Gatto. But um, I'm like caught the last end of like SDK portion where they were throwing pancakes out, which if you've never been to an SDK show, it's just the thing, go with it. Um, but then Emily, we were close enough to the front that Emily actually caught one of the Bisquick bottles <laughs> of pancake batter. So that was super cool. And then after that, what did we do after that? Oh, after that then we, oh, and then I think we saw Kevin. Kevin and Grandma Lil was after that, which I love Grandma Lil. I met Kevin before at Press Play, who, super nice guy, but I've never met Grandma Lil, and I love Grandma Lil. Grandma Lil is A plus. And then after that, um, at Playlist Live, they have a like assortment of food trucks that you can go, but they also had um, a food court in the hotel. Yes, there was a food court in the hotel. The hotel was huge, let me tell you. But yeah, so we looked at the food trucks a little bit, but nothing looked very like appetizing or what we wanted. So we went to the food court and I think a couple of us got pizza. I think most of us got pizza. Um, but then um, Emily and Katie had Dan and Phil meet up to go to after that. And so when we first started signing up for meetups, Christine actually wasn't able to get into any meetups. And I thought like, I felt so horrible because all of us had gotten meetups except for her and I just felt horrible. And by chance there was this one girl that was like listening into our conversation and she heard that like 
we were meeting Dan and or well Katie and Emily were meeting Dan and Phil and she's like oh I have an extra wristband that I'm not using anymore would you want it and so obviously I let Christine take it because I'm because a I'm not a big fan of Dan and Phil and I've never really watched any of their videos um, and I knew Christine was a bigger fan and obviously I had already had my meetup for the day so I was super happy she was able to go meet Dan and Phil and I just felt I it was just a good day and I was so happy for her that she was able to get a meetup which was so good so Katie Emily and Christine then went to their Dan and Phil meetup and then I went to go watch Ricky Dillon on the Invisalign stage and I watched his Q&A and then I was also going to wait and watch uh, Louise's panel that was she was on and so it was also really funny because while I was there between I think it was Ricky and Louise's um, panel slash Q&A's I heard a bunch of screaming because there was actually two meetups on each side of the Invisalign stage and I heard screaming and I was like who the heck is there like a bunch of girls are screaming who the heck is having a meetup and it just by chance happened to be press plays. So I spent most of my time, um, I was like FaceTiming Kaylee and I was like, oh my God, they're all there. They're all there and I wanna hug them all, but I can't cause I don't have their meetup. And I was about to like hop the barrier, but I was like, if I hop a fence, it'll probably get kicked out of playlist. And I was like, mm, I don't feel like getting kicked out of playlist cause I love this place way too much. So I kind of just like viewed Taylor Baxter and Joey Kidney and all my favorites from press play from a distance. So. Um, but then after that, I went to go meet back up with Christine, Emily, and Katie after they met Dan and Phil, which they said they had an awesome time, which I'm super happy with. And then we went to the Epiphone stage to go watch um, Ingrid's podcast. They were actually recording one of her podcasts live at the time. And it was actually super cool because when we were in her meetup, they actually had us, they gave us like postcards and we were supposed to like make a question um, based off of the topic of stress that they were dealing, or not stress, jealousy. Um, to make a question that they possibly would uh, like answer in the podcast. So we only caught the last tail end of the podcast, so I don't know if one of my questions was in the podcast, but I will keep you updated um, if that happens when the podcast comes out, because I'm thinking it probably will be coming out like next week or the week following, but um, oh, that day was so good. And then we kind of walked around because the next thing we wanted to see was Marcus and Alfie's uh, panel or Q&A, Q&A panel, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of those. <laughs> but um, we were kind of walking around and then we came back and watched Alfie and Marcus's Q&A, which was super good. We stayed for part of it because then we were having plans to go to the Magic Kingdom. So we watched about like 20, 30 minutes of Marcus and Alfie's Q&A. And then we left to head back to the Magic Kingdom. So we had to go stand outside and wait for a bus to take us to our car, which was kind of a pain in the butt, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so we got into our car and we headed to the Magic Kingdom. I was actually able to get into the Magic Kingdom for free. Thanks to Emily and Katie who actually worked there. So thank you for letting me use one of your free passes to get in. Honestly, like, it was so much fun. We went to Magic Kingdom and we we were only, I think we, we had gotten to Magic Kingdom around seven, but then we had a little difficulty getting in because one of Emily's cards wasn't working, but thankfully everything worked out. They actually ended up giving us like four free fast passes. So um, we got in and then we met Christine and Emily because they had already gotten in um, and we had some lunch or not lunch. I said the same thing in the vlog. What the heck? We, had, we went in to have dinner and we did the Seven Dwarfs ride, which was the new one I had not been on yet. And let me tell you, it was so much fun. Even though it was short, I loved it. 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 And then we did Haunted Mansion. Splash Mountain, Under the Sea, we met Cinderella and Rapunzel, and then wait for it, we met Elsa and Anna, which, oh, I wasn't ready. Like, I didn't think I was gonna meet them, and I was just not prepared. I was like, ah! <laughs> And then we went on Space Mountain, Splash Mountain. We did so much in such a short time. We watched Wishes wishes you can't go to magic kingdom and not watch wishes i'm sorry that's just a thing you can't do but yeah so we went to magic kingdom we stayed there until like midnight so then after we stayed a ridiculous time at disney we got back into christine's car and we headed back to her apartment um we didn't get back to her apartment until about mm, 1 o'clock ish so we all got to bed around 3 
um, which then we we all decided that we were gonna wake up at 6.30 in order to leave at 7.30 because obviously we now knew what the parking was like, um, so we wanted to leave just a little bit earlier. So um, I got like three hours of sleep that night, which was so much fun. <laughs> Not really. Um, but yeah, Sunday came along. We woke up at about, we said we were going to wake up at 6.30. I don't think we all ended up waking up to like 7 because we were wiped. Like you have no idea. Um, I packed my bag because unfortunately I had to go back that night, um, which sucked. Because, oh my god, it was so nice and warm. I just love Florida so much. And I was not looking forward to coming back. Because, like, right now in Wisconsin, it's freezing cold. And let me tell you, I am missing Orlando so much. It's not funny. But yeah, we woke up on Sunday, um, got dressed again. I packed my suitcase. We got all that stuff into Christine's car. Went and had breakfast. And then we dropped our car right away off in the overflow lot. Because we weren't sure if there was going to be parking. So we're like, we're just going to go park in the overflow lot. Did that right away. And then we were able to get on a bus or a shuttle really quickly so we got in the shuttle we headed to the Marriott on the shuttle got there um, I got in line right away um, even though I was like two hours early for my meetup with Jenna Marbles and oh my god guys she is so all of them are so nice like unbelievably super nice I cannot even like they're just so nice I like love them all it was actually really funny because while I was waiting for Jenna to come in um, I had my vlog camera ready, so when they came in, I was only watching it on my small little view camera. And so, <laughs> Julian was also there with her, and he walked in, and he was actually holding his longboard, but the way he was holding it, it looked like a dog leash, and I had like a mini panic attack, because I actually thought they brought the dogs, and I was like, they brought the dogs, they brought the dogs, oh my god, but then I like looked at like with my eyes in like the real scenario that was happening, <laughs> and it was just the longboard, which kind of like, I was like, oh darn, I really wish the dogs were here, but it was okay. But so I got to meet Jenna and Julian, and both of them are so nice. And then I, <laughs> then I also went to go hug her, and like her earrings stabbed me, and I was, she was like, I stabbed you. I'm like, it's okay. Jenna Marble stabbed me with her earring. That's a weird thing to be excited about, but it happened, and I was like, ah. Um, but yeah, so that happened. I met her. I was also super mad because so Katie had met Taylor and Joey so many times. It was like unreal. Like I was like, how? And so I was, she had texted me and I was like five people away before going up to meet Jenna. And she's like, Taylor's here. Like he's standing right here. Like hurry up. We can maybe like, you can meet him. And I was like, okay. And so like I've gotten out of like just meeting Jenna and I was about to text her saying, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And she texted me, Taylor just left. I'm like, oh, I was so mad. But I mean like, it wasn't that big of a deal because I've met Taylor and Joey a bunch of times and these other people I haven't really met before so it was like I'm a-okay. So I ran there. Um, I also ran there because the Sacconi Jolies were on the panel and I wanted to see them so bad because if you do not know the Sacconi Jolies I want them to adopt me into their family. It's not even funny because I love them so much. And then after that we were walking around because then Katie went off somewhere so we were about to go meet up with Katie and I saw Mitchell Davis and Mitchell Davis was like had like a little bit of like a group there so I was like I want to meet Mitchell Davis. I want to meet Mitchell Davis. So we met Mitchell Davis. Oh my god, guys, he is so hilarious. Like he's so funny. Like I was there peeing my pants while meeting him because I was laughing so hard. Because oh, I love Mitchell Davis. He's so funny. Like peeing my pants of laughter. And then after I met Mitchell, um, what did we do? But after we met Mitchell, um, all four of us went to one of the ballrooms because SDK was having like a panel. And so we went and we watched SDK and we, um, and they were going, they had a, like, they were gonna have an impromptu meetup after the panel, but they didn't really let anybody else, like, a part of Playlist know that they were going to do an impromptu meetup. And so there were, like, a huge group of girls, and they had finally gotten us into, like, some sort of line. And then, like, SDK comes, like, Congo way through, like, all of us and heading to the pool. And oh my god, guys, I'm not even joking. I thought, like, I literally saw my life flash before my eyes. Like, I was going. There were so many girls there, and it was just like, I honestly thought right there and then, I'm gonna die at Playlist Live by getting like mobbed by a bunch of girls. It was like the scariest moment ever. I was like, I'm gonna die. Bye. Because literally there was like girls, and I was like, I'm gonna die. So, <laughs> um, Emily and Katie actually were able to get their way without getting killed so they were able to meet SDK and their pictures are hilarious, um, but Christine and I stayed back because we really, 
it wasn't like a thing we had to do, like we didn't have to meet them. And so um, we actually went and got food from one of the food trucks um, and then Katie and Emily met us back up and they got food from the same food truck and then we ate. And so then after that we were kind of walking around, um, there wasn't really anybody else that we wanted to see for the rest of the day. But both Emily and I wanted to go check on the merch station one more time because there was some merch and everything was on sale. Um, that's when I went to go originally get my sweatshirt, but they were sold out. So I was like, okay, hopefully they'll put it on districtlines.com, which they did. And so I bought it, so it's getting shipped to me and I'm super excited because like I said, I love me my sweatshirts. And then actually the Shaytards are there. So Emily, Katie, and Christine got in line. Katie um, actually just got in line to get a video for one of our friends, which was super nice of her. And then I was just kind of chilling out watching some of the people that were performing on the Invisalign stage. Um, and then afterwards we were like, okay, I think like everything's done. I think we like met everyone. I think we're ready to go. Plus it was like getting super close to the time that I actually had to leave to head back to the airport. And so I think we're like, okay, I think we're like all set. I think we're ready. And so we walked through the Playlist Live like arc for the last time and it was super emotional. I was like, it's over. It went so fast. But like literally as we were walking, we like saw a bunch of other people we wanted to meet. So we ended up meeting um, part of SDK. Um, Nolan, Adam, Nick, and Ryan were out. And so uh, Katie had spotted Nolan by his sweatpants. And so we're like, let's go get it. So we got a picture with them um, before like they had gotten mobbed, which was super cool. So we got a picture with them. And then um, we also saw Shay, who is a British YouTuber, if you don't know him. Um, we got in line and I met him. But so yeah, so we ended up meeting a bunch of other people. Um, and then it was finally time to leave. Um, we had like a weird 30 minutes of like, well, I don't want to leave now because then I'll get to the airport super early, but I also don't want to like get there like, I don't want to like go to like another park because there was talks that we'd be going to the Animal Kingdom in Epcot on Sunday, but it turned out there was actually a bunch of panels we wanted to go to and it ended up not working out. So it was like, okay, it w and plus we were all wiped. So it was like, I don't want to go. I'm super exhausted. So we ended up just kind of going to downtown Disney, getting Starbucks, getting back in the car, driving to the airport. I said goodbye to Christine and Emily and Katie, and I'm not even going to lie. I almost started crying. I don't know why. Um, a, because Playlist Live was done and all this other stuff was happening and I was like, I like held it together. I like almost started crying. Like if I would have stayed there for a little bit longer, I probably would have started crying. But I was like, hold it together, Taylor. You got this. But yeah, so I went through security. I got on my flight. I made it back to Wisconsin. My dad picked me up. I made it back to my school. And then I had classes the next day, which was very difficult, A, because I was home and Playlist Live was over, as well as I was just exhausted. Like I said, total of six hours of sleep that weekend did not sit well with going to class at nine o'clock in the morning, which I actually kind of skipped that class because I was like, Taylor needs sleep. Also, can I say how nice it was being at Playlist Live and vlogging and ha having people look at you like you're a complete maniac? Because I literally, like, I saw a difference from like being at Playlist and then like heading back to the airport that night and vlogging in the airport, everyone was looking at me like I was a complete freak. And I was like, wow, it was so nice going somewhere and not having people look at you like you're a complete maniac talking to a camera. Hashtag YouTuber problems. But yeah guys, that is it for this week's video. I had such an amazing time at Playlist Live. Literally as Christine, Emily, Katie and I were going back to the airport and they were dropping me off. We were like, so like, where are we staying next year for Playlist? Are we gonna buy a hotel and all that kind of stuff? So I think it's gonna become an annual thing. Not good for my bank account, but you know, maybe I'll become YouTube famous and then I won't have to play, like pay for this and Playlist Live will like, be like, Taylor, come out and do pants. Like, what if that actually happens? Like, what if like in a couple years I become big enough and that actually happens? Like, I'll be looking back on this video today and I'll be like, wow, throwback. If any of you guys went to Playlist Live, make sure to let me know down below in the comment bar, letting you know like if you went or who you met, because I want to know like who everyone met because I was talking with a bunch of other people who were in like my meetups and like, who are you meeting tomorrow? Who have you already met yesterday? It was just so much fun kind of seeing like, the different variety of people that met different people and like who were interested in seeing YouTubers I was and I just the whole entire playlist live experience was so much fun and I learned so much and it was just I loved it 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 if you are new to my channel make sure to click that subscribe button down below I make new videos every Sunday and 
I'm working on my goal of 500 subscribers by the time my channel turns two, and also we're so close to 200 subscribers, so make sure to click that subscribe button down below. It'll mean so much to me. Also, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you went to Playlist Live. Also, like I said, I have vlogged all of Playlist Live, and they will be linked down below, so make sure to go watch all of those. Not that you watch this video. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in this amazing world. Remember to always keep doing you, and I will see you all next Sunday. Hey, no, 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 no.